The late Philly Bongole Rutaya was the first prominent Ugandan to give HIV and AIDS a human face back in the late 80s. At the time, little was known about the epidemic that had first been detected in what is now Rakai district, but which was rapidly spreading throughout the country. Efforts to fight HIV and AIDS were then put in place with President Museveni spearheading the ABC campaign. ABC, standing for abstinence, being faithful to your partner and using a condom if the A and B fail. The AIDS Indicator Survey of 2011 shows that Karamoja region predominantly recorded the lowest prevalence rates in the country over time. But this trend is now shifting. During a series of activities to track the progress of the presidential initiative to end HIV AIDS as a public health threat by 2030 by the Uganda AIDS Commission in Kotido district, health officials there highlighted their performance as a region. We tested 160,019. Then out of that, we got 1,398 positive. And we managed to link 1,071, which is far less than uh, our linkage is at 85. It's, we are not even at 90. As a region, we are yet to test 396,000, which is not easy. If people are not coming as per the data, and yet we are yet, we are yet to look for 396,000, that means we still have a lot to do. We have seen how we are doing well in, the, in PMT City, and we are doing badly in the other components. So we need a partner for comprehensive care for the other remaining districts. According to the Uganda AIDS Commission, statistics show that the prevalence has now doubled. Low compared to the national average of 6.2, but that has doubled, you know, since because the earlier HIV prevalence rates for this region were below 2%. So the trend is not a good one. Whereas Dr. Musoba noted a commendable progress towards achieving the president's aspirations in Karamoja, he says the Karamoja region is now exposed to the factors responsible for new HIV infections. And that is partly attributed to the opening up of, uh, because of commercialization. And when we spoke to, again to the young people, we found they have some information, not completely you know, accurate. Every time you see stigma and discrimination in any community, one of the first things it means people don't have enough information. Because the moment you do not have enough information, then you start speculating around issues, around uh, how HIV is spread. In his song, Alone and Frightened, Lutaya spoke to the world about the importance of opening up to the fact that AIDS kills, but also to spread a message of prevention and hope. It's me and you. The Uganda AIDS Commission is now using people living with HIV and other ambassadors to spread information on prevention and treatment, especially to the youth who have the highest number of new infections currently. Yeah, since the launch of the presidential fast track, we have seen reports indicating reduction in stockouts uh, for, for, for uh, commodities. We've seen increase in accessing HIV testing services. We are going to start up initiatives in schools, we are going to open up AIDS clubs where every Saturday we shall be having the girls and the boys in schools tested and they get to know their status. So these young people deliberate on these issues as champions and then they cascade this knowledge back to their peers. On the sidelines of a public gathering, 
The woman member of parliament for Kotido said cultural practices have become a big contributing factor to the rise of new infections in Karamoja. Our villages are clustered and you find when they are clustered they have a common place for the girls to sleep. And this is where courtship takes place in a traditional way. In this house there's a wrestling and because of human weakness you find some of them are raped there, some of them accept on consent. The other challenge that people who are already positive are on drugs is that they don't have food to support these drugs. The district health officer for Kotido district urged government to improve the staffing levels in the region to enable them provide the adequate and required services in time. We services is added on to additional services which we had before. With no additional recruitment. So we are using the existing staffing to what? to offer services to the people. So it is training our people. Minister for Karamoja Affairs, John Biabagambi, who represented the president at the function in Kotido district, said the government is working towards providing more information on prevention and treatment. The health facilities that we had put in place in one area, now they have moved to another place. Now they need us also to follow them to the other place. So it is still a challenge. But I think the most important thing is change their mindset, but also start telling them to live in one place. Walter Mwesije, NTV, Kotido District.